Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. An Excel dashboard is valuable for quickly analyzing trends and making data-driven decisions. By creating an interactive dashboard, you can easily visualize and understand key metrics at a glance. In this video, I will guide you through the process of building an interactive dashboard in Excel. Let's go. To create an effective dashboard, begin by designing its overall layout and structure. The specific design will depend on your goals and the data you're analyzing. For this example, I will create a dashboard for employment statistics. You can start by adding a header title to your dashboard using text or images for customization. Then insert containers for your future charts using the Shapes tool on the Insert tab. Choose a shape that fits your design and drag it onto your dashboard. For added visual, apply shape effects such as shadows to make your data stand out. And make adjustments to align your data perfectly. When constructing a dashboard, common elements include charts, tables, slicers, and filters. To ensure your dashboard displays dynamic data, I recommend using pivot charts, which are visual representations of pivot tables. I already have sample pivot tables here, and if you'd like to learn how to create them, check out a separate tutorial. Click the tag in the top right corner or find the link below. To convert a pivot table into a chart, select a cell within the table and go to Pivot Table Analyze. Choose the appropriate chart type based on your data and the information you want to convey. Repeat this process for any other pivot tables you have. Once your charts are ready, cut and paste them into your dashboard layout. Position each element and customize its style by adding or removing outlines, effects, and other elements. Finally, add slicers and filters to enhance user interaction and filtering capabilities in your dashboard. Slicers provide a visual interface with buttons or checkboxes that allow users to filter data based on specific criteria. To create a slicer, click on a pivot chart and go to Pivot Chart Analyze. Navigate to Insert Slicer. Choose the fields you want to include for filtering and click OK to confirm. Once added, Position the slicer in a convenient area of your dashboard. When you click a slicer button, it will automatically filter the linked table or pivot table, and your dashboard will reflect the results. To ensure that the slicer applies to all relevant charts, right-click on the slicer. Go to Report Connections and check all connected pivot tables. Remember that slicers can only be linked to pivot tables that share the same data source. For your dashboard to display the most current information, it's important to refresh it whenever you add new data or make changes to your data source. To refresh pivot data, select the chart. Go to Pivot Chart Analyze. Click Refresh and choose Refresh All. This will update the dashboard's visuals to reflect the latest data. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!